and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be filming a drugstore tutorial. I asked a poll on Instagram um, if you guys want to see high-end or drugstore. The majority voted drugstore, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to start off with my primer. I do not have my MAC Paint Jelly Paint Pot on today. A little upset. <laughs> but, hey, you guys want a drugstore, so I'm going to give you a drugstore. Um... I do not have any drugstore primers. I thought I still had my NYX. I used to have a NYX um, look like a little paint pot primer. I used to have the white one and a cream colored one. But apparently either I lost it or I threw it out or I don't remember but I can't find it anywhere. So I'm going to use a concealer to use as my eyeshadow base and my eyebrow base as well because I don't have no eyebrows on right now. So I'm going to use my NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop concealer in the shade vanilla so i'm gonna put that all over my lids and my brows and i'm gonna set it with my rimmel stay matte powder that looks like this and the shade is transparent just gonna use a little brush to blend that out oh i look funny <laughs> so i'm gonna use my real techniques deluxe crease crease brush I honestly do not know if they still sell this. This came in a kit, but every time I go to the store, I can never find it. So I don't know if they don't make it anymore or maybe it's just always sold out. But yeah, this came in a kit. I think it was like four or five brushes, the same purple um, barrel. So this is the one I always use for my primer. And I'm just patting it. I'm not dragging it and patting it in. You drag it, you might get that streaky look, and that's what you don't want. Now I'm just gonna set it with the powder. I'm just gonna use my big uh, powder brush, and that's my Wet n Wild powder brush. It came in a set around Christmas time, I think, like two years ago. I'm just going to set all of that. Okay, so after I did. The concealer all over my eyes and my brows and said it I went ahead into this eyebrow um, as you can see it looks so crazy with me not having one eyebrow on one side me having one eyebrow on one side um so next I'm gonna get into how I did my brows honestly I freehanded my brows um I like drawing so if you like drawing uh, practice drawing eyebrows and it helps you with your eyebrows so much more. As you can see, I really don't have much to work with as far as eyebrows because I don't have hair. All I have is um, an old tattoo from when I was 16 that's still fading out that's taking forever. So, yeah, I use that for where my eyebrow begins. But I don't really use that for the rest of my brow because where she positioned it was incorrect. When you do your brows, your eyebrow is actually your tail end of your brow. is supposed to end where your nose and your corner of your eye is. That's where your eyebrow is supposed to end. Where she did my eyebrow, she stopped it right there. Like, my eye is over here. So, she missed like a good quarter of an inch of brow. Like, she made them so small. Um, granted, I did get them when I was 16. Maybe my face grew. My eyes were smaller. I don't know. Whatever. Listen, it's not right. So... <laughs> I hate my tattooed brow, brows and I won't do them again. But let's get into how I did my brows though. So I'm going to take my, usually I use my Anastasia dark brown, um, sorry, ebony, ebony um, dip brow. But today I'm going to use two cream eyeliners by e.l.f. So one is black and the other one is coffee. So I actually used to use this back in the day. If you guys have been following me for a long time subscribe for me for a long time um you would see in my original videos this is what I use these all the time for my brows so I'm just gonna mix these two because I want it to be darker and then I'm gonna use that to apply my brows and then what I used to clean up my brow was my NYX conceal correct and contour palette in the shade light and I actually mixed these three colors one two and three i used all three of those mixed them up and that's what i used to clean up the underside of my brow i'm mixing them in the cap and then i'm going to put a little bit on the back of my hand to really warm up the product so it should look like that it's the same color as my ebony dip um brow pomade 
And first I'm going to start to feather strokes and then I'm going to start to feathering this way, making it more and more thicker to my liking. Um, try to match this brow as best possible so they could be somewhat sisters and not cousins. Um, yeah, so let's go. All right, so I'm done with both the brows. Um, I didn't tell you before, but for what I use, what brushes I use for my brows, I use this Sonia Kashuk brush. This actually came in a set. It's just a very thin angled eyeliner brush, but I use for my brows. And I also use a e.l.f. concealer brush. That's one of these little ones. These used to be a dollar. I'm pretty sure they bumped up the price to $3, but this is what I use to clean up the underneath my brows. So for my eyeshadow, I am going to use this Modern Dreamer palette, and I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do yet. I'm going to play around with a few colors on this eye, and then I'm going to come back and show you how I did it on this one. Alright dolls, so this is the look I came up with. It has lime green, a darker green, a dark like prune color on the outer, blended up into the crease. And it has a severe cat eyeliner. I even did the inner corner thing. So that's how I'm going to show you what to do on this side. So I use my NYX Modern Dreamer Shadow Palette, which looks like this. And I used one, two, three, four, four shades from this palette. So I used this one right here as my transition shade and then I use this color and this color on the lid and then I use this corner um, for the shading on my outer V into my crease and on my lower lash line. So uh, let's jump into it. I'm going to take this fluffy brush. This is the Morphe 504 brush which looks like this and I gotta, I'm going to deep it into that first shade right here. To load up my brush and I'm gonna zoom you guys in. So I'm gonna start off by putting this here and blending it in. And I'm gonna bring that color all the way up to my brow, leaving like the slightest gap ever. One more time, focusing in the crease area. Now I'm going to go ahead and take a NYX Jumbo Pencil. If you guys don't have this color, you could definitely use white. Um, so I'm going to take Electric Blue, which looks like this. I'm going to put that all over my lid. Alright, now I'm just going to blend all that in using my finger. You could use a brush if you want to, but finger works just fine. If you're doing this look on a client, so just use a brush. Alright, now that I got all that out, I'm going to go into that lime green color. And I, for the green, I'm going to use the Morphe 503 brush, which looks like this. So I'm just going to load up my brush with the green color. And I hope this applies the same because for the other eye, I used a different brush that was a very old brush. Um, it's hard to fall apart on me as I was using it. I mean, it's like over 10 years old, so that could explain it, but look at it, look at it. Uh-uh. So, that, that brush is going to the garbage. So, I'm just going to put this, I'm going to put this in the inner corner, and then I'm going to blend it up into my crease. And I'm just patting. Perfect. Okay, now I'm going to dip into that green shade that I used, which is the row below that, the lime green. And it's right here. I'm just going to load up my brush. And I'm going to put that on the rest of my lid. Uh, 
Oh, I should have used this brush on my other lid. It looks so much better. You guys probably can't tell, but I can. Alright, now that you got all that product off, pull it into the crease just a little bit and start patting out that lime green together with it to give you a nice blend. And you could go back into that green, the lime green, and just go right back into the outer corner. Just like that. Perfect. All right, now I'm gonna take this small blending brush. It's the M14 brush. It's like a pencil blending brush. And I'm gonna dip into the prune color, which is right here, right next to that transition shade that we used earlier. So I'm just loading it up. It'll help if I'm in the frame. Loading it up. And I'm going to start stamping it out in my outer V right here. Just stamp it out. And then start to blend. And I'm not actually going into the crease. I'm going above. Like you have your crease goes in right there. Go above that. I'm going to get more product, stamp it there again, and blend. I'm going to start to blend it up and out. Alright, one more time. Now I'm just going to tug my eyelid just a little bit, just to flatten it out a bit. I'm going to tap that color here on the outer portion, but then I'm going to start dragging it in. And sweeping it back and forth. So now you're going to take your concealer, which is the Can't Stop, Won't Stop that you use as a primer. And I'm just going to put a little bit of my lower lid. My lower lid. All right, so once you got on there, you're just going to start laying down the colors as if you did your lid. So the lime green color is going to go first, and I'm going to use my Morphe 321 brush, which looks like a pencil brush like this. And I'm going to start with my inner corner. That color is going to go first. Then I'm going to go on to that darker green color. My kids are home because of, you know, everything that's going on outside. Um, so they are allowed in the background. I'm going to bring this all the way in. And just blend those colors together by swiping them back and forth. If you lose that intensity of that lime green, you can go ahead and put some more on there. Alright, now I'm just going to deepen my inner. I'm sorry, now I'm going to a tight line and waterline with my Maybelline Lasting Drama Waterproof Gel Pencil and this is in the shade Sleek Onyx so that looks like that and I need to sharpen it alright so now let's sharpen just line your eyes All right, so now I'm going to go in with a straight brush like this, straight eyeliner brush. And this is from e.l.f. This is just one of the dollar brushes. I'm pretty sure it's $3 now. So I'm just going to stamp it into that prune color. And I'm going to put it right underneath like that. Use that 514 brush again with some more of that prune color. And just blend the two together. 
all right guys so i got the eyes done i went ahead and did the eyeliner i did it off camera because my camera was seriously overheating so i needed to turn it off and i didn't want to waste any time so i just went ahead and did the eyeliner so for the eyeliner i used my nyx um epic ink eyeliner it's in the color black and this is waterproof and this has easily become one of my favorite eyeliners um I'm very very happy that I finally found this to try it because I was looking for that for months and every time I went it was also always sold out and they only had the brown one so I got this and I actually picked up two more boxes just in case I can't find it again so I have backup um when I went to Walmart I found new eyelashes let me turn down my music um I found new eyelashes and this is by LA Colors. I didn't even know they made eyelashes, to be honest with you, but this is in the last section. So it's 3D faux, uh, faux, sorry, faux mink um, lashes, soft, wispy, reusable, a flexible band. And this is in the style Emerson. So this is the yellow box, and it looks like that. They're very wispy, and you can see they go from short to long in the outer corner. So that's exactly what I was going for with this look because it being a cat eye, you don't really want an, a lash that's the same length going from the inner corner to the outer corner because it's gonna take away from that cat eye and you're not really gonna, it's not really gonna stand out. So if you get the lashes that are shorter in the inner corner and they go out longer, it's really gonna bring that cat eye out. I have it on on this side. I didn't put mascara on yet because the glue is still drying. Um, so I'm just gonna go ahead and pop this on and I'm gonna use my black my black um dual tone, tone glue actually it's in dark I thought it was black it's dark dual tone glue so it just looks like this and it has the little brush applicator so I'm just gonna go ahead and put that on put my eyelashes on and then I'll be back I am back um I am done with the eyes I'm gonna move on to the face I didn't put my mascara on I'm gonna leave that as my last step because I don't want my mascara to look all white and everything from the powder and stuff so I'm just taking a wipe and I'm wiping off any remaining eyeshadow I may have left on my cheeks I'm taking off my earrings um I'm gonna try a new primer today this is an elf Poreless Putty Primer. The color is Universal Shield. It says it's with Hydrating Squalane. I don't know what that is. It looks like this. It's a little jar. Um, it says there's 0.7 ounces in this. Um, and the back reads, this perfecting putty primer smooths the skin and preps it with squalane to help moisturize and grip makeup for all day wear. The velvety texture glides all over the skin, smoothing over imperfections for a poreless effect. Directions, apply a thin, even amount to moisturize skin prior to makeup application. Allow to set for 30 seconds before applying foundation. All right, so I already have moisturizer on. And my hands are clean. I am going to go ahead and dip into this. It is weird. <laughs> it really does feel like a putty. So I'm just going to grab a little bit of it. I don't know what's too much. So I'm just going to take like that much and rub it on my fingers together. And start to put it over my big pore areas. It is very smooth. It does. It feels like it has an oily feel, to be honest with you. So I don't know how well that's going to work under my makeup. I'm going to take a little bit more just to pat in the areas where I have really open pores. Especially on my nose because I did a spa day yesterday, so... My pores are very exposed because I did a blackhead removal. So hopefully this helps. So it said to let this set for 30 seconds before you apply any makeup on top of it. It does look like it filled in my pores like very, very slightly. But honestly, the Benefit Professional looks like it would do better. But you know, this is a drugstore product, so we will see how it works. Um, I'm going to finish letting that set, but in the meantime, I'm going to use L'Oreal Pro Glow Infallible Foundation in the color 204. I'm going to shake that up. 
And I'm also going to use a brush today to apply my foundation. I'm trying to get away from the sponge. Use brushes more because I feel like sponges have become my crutch. And that's not good. Um, I need to start using my brushes again and be more comfortable using my foundation brushes. Because I've been just going to the sponge and going to the sponge and going to the sponge and, you know, losing my technique with my brushes. So, with my face brush, I should say, my foundation brush, because everything else I'm okay with. So, I'm just make, mixing this up because it's been in my drawer for a little bit, so I'm going to make sure it's all mixed all right, up. I think that's about 30 seconds. Just going to put a little bit on the back of my hand. Oops, stop coming out. like just pouring out like water all right so this is a fairly liquidy consistency as you can see it's running down um so you don't need that much just little taps i'm gonna put on this brush this brush i'm using is the uh moda pro buffer brush bmx 180 it looks like this. honestly i should have sprayed this with some sort of um setting spray so it won't eat my product but I'm just gonna go ahead and start patting in my foundation and I'm avoiding my smile line area for now I'm gonna leave that for the last and I'm just pinching the brush to get around the smaller areas Alright, I want to perfect my eyebrow shape just a tad, so I'm just going to take a angled, um, found, I'm not sorry, not an angle finish, a pointed foundation brush by Real Techniques. Um, it just looks like this, it has the gold barrel, and I'm just going to take the remaining foundation I have left on my hand, which is not much, um, and I'm going to go around my eyebrows. I'm going to take my brush, just go around. All right, um, whatever's left over in the brush, it's gonna go over my smile lines. All right, now for concealer, I'm going to take. I'm not sure what shade yet, but I'm gonna use my Elf Hydrating Camo. It's concealer, and this has a satin finish. I just picked these up. One is in the color light peach. One is in the color light sand. I'm gonna try them both in the back of my hand to see which one I like better. I wasn't sure what um, which one I needed. Um, Ulta, they didn't have, um, what do you call it? They didn't have testers for these. So I just picked up both of them. I believe, I believe they were $6 a piece, but don't quote me. These have very big doe foot applicators similar to the Tarte, um, Tart, what the, what is it called? Tart, shape tape, yeah. It's similar to that applicator, so. Alright, so here are the two colors. Honestly, I think I could mix them both. So I, I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to mix them both. This is the peach, and that's the light sand. Light peach and light sand. Yeah, so I'm going to mix them together, because it looks like together will be a perfect shade for me. So, I'm just going to put a little bit on the back of my hand of both colors. That's what I did. And I'm going to mix it together with that pointed foundation brush. Oh yeah, this looks like a good color. Alright guys, and I'm going to be blending this out with my brush. <laughs> just using tapping motions. pinching my brush like that to make it flat to get in between my eyebrows and to do my nose
Alright, so I'm done with blending out all that concealer. Um, now I'm going to go ahead and set it. I'm just using my Airspun Loose Face Powder. If you guys can't, they have them in Walgreens, but I know they get sold out a lot. They do have a big stock of them usually in Walmart. And this is the color Extra Coverage Translucent. I don't know how something can be extra covered and make translucent at the same time, but yeah, that's what it says. I am just going to use a brush to put this on. If I could find a brush, I won't use. Alright, so I'm going to use my Morph 438 brush, which looks like this. It's pointed. Now I am going to set the rest of my face with my Rimmel Stay Matte Translucent Powder and I'm going to use that big powder brush from before. Alright, so my nose is still baking. I'm going to go ahead and contour my face. I'm going to use my Milani uh, Sun Kiss Silky Matte Bronzing Brush. And this is a Sephora Face Contour Brush. Number 133. This brush is pretty old, so I'm pretty sure they don't have it in the store anymore. So I just load it up, dust it off, and I'm gonna start with my forehead as usual. Patting it and then going in circular motions. This smells so good. It smells like like a cupcake or something. Alright, now I'm just going to do my nose and the brush I'm going to use for my nose is a brush that I had picked up from, I believe it was CVS and it doesn't have any name, it's just double sided so it has like this side that is thick, you can use this for a highlight brush as well, I'm using it for my nose contour or it has this um, concealer type of brush on this side. I'm actually going to use both sides of it, so first I'm going to start with the fluffier side. And I'm going to start right here and just start dragging that down. Alright, so with the other side of the brush, I'm just going to dip it right into the product. And I'm going to make a small line. And I'm going to do the same exact thing to the other side. Gonna blend it down. Then I'm just gonna use the other brush to blend it. Alright, so I'm gonna take some of that airspun powder and I'm gonna put it on the sides. And a little bit for the middle. Alright guys, so I ran out of battery, so I had to pop in my other one, but my other one only has 50%, so I have to hurry up with this video. Alright, so after that, I did put the powder on, and now I'm going to just take my powder brush, and I'm just going to pat all over my face, pressing in that extra spun powder that I had put on earlier. And I've been doing this the last couple of times I've been doing makeup instead of swiping it off. I've been patting it in um, because they said it makes your makeup last longer. So All right. So for blush, I'm also going to use another Milani product. Product. This is Romantic Rose. I feel like... And as you can see, it barely looks like a rose anymore. All right. So the blush brush I'm going to use, I believe I brought this from... CVS as well. If Essence of Beauty is from CVS, then I got that from there. If not, it was from Walgreens. But it's like this. has a magnetic top. It comes with multiple ones. Although it's like barely a magnetic anymore. It comes with multiple um, tops you could put on it. But this is the one that I use all the time. So, I'm just going to take this and load up my brush. And I'm going to put that right on my cheeks. I'm going to put a little bit on my chin. 
my forehead and of course the tip of my nose and that's done I'm gonna go ahead and pat that contour and then I'm going to set my face to set my face I'm going to use my elf coke hydrating sorry hydrating coconut mist lightweight mist hydrate skin and refreshes makeup I'm gonna let this dry and then I'm gonna be back. All right, so it's almost dry. To highlight my face, I'm gonna use two highlighters. They're both by e.l.f. This should just be all e.l.f. stuff. <laughs> They're both by e.l.f. One is Moonlight Pearls, which looks like that. The other one is Pink Diamonds, which looks like this. Now these are highlighters. The thing about these are you have to break the top in order for them to give you the color payoff that you're looking for. Uh, if you don't, I'm going to show you. So this, and they're both the same formula. This is pink diamonds, which the top has not been broken yet. So when I swipe, it's a pink color, but barely any payoff at all. Like nothing. It's barely there. Now, this one, which is Moonlight Pearls, I've broken the top, and let me give you a swatch of that. Look at that payoff. Do you see that compared to this? It's like nothing. Now I'm going to break the top of Pink Diamonds to show you what it looks like. I'm going to try not to mess with the swatch on my hand so you guys can see the comparison. So what I do is I take a spatula or anything that you have, you're just going to scrape the top of it. What happens when it's pressed, um, it has like a film on top of it that doesn't let it uh, pick up like it should. So I'm just going to do that. Dump that off. And you could use what's scraped off as well. But okay, so this is what it looked like before. And that is what it looks like now. Do you see the difference? That one. And that one it's mm, like a lot more color this is like nothing and that is good all right so I'm just going to grab my brush and this is a moda brush um, highlight and glow it's from their I think it's an icicle collection so it looks like that and I'm just gonna go ahead and pop on I'm gonna do the pink diamonds first I'm gonna load up my brush tap off the excess and put that on first there so that's the only place I'm gonna put that this is gonna go everywhere else the moonlight pearls so it's gonna go right on top of the pink first all right now it's gonna go everywhere else smaller brush this is the morphe e36 brush it's a tiny tiny pencil brush i use this for highlighting my inner corners and my nose blend it up all right and i'm gonna take a smaller brush use this one this is another moda brush um, a small shader brush so it just looks like this I know it's part of their I think it's called neon brights collection I could be wrong sorry so I'm gonna use this for my highlight under my brow all right so I went ahead and put on my mascara for my mascara I used my Maybelline the colossal big shot volume express mascara in the color I want to say this is very black I can't see that is so small for me to read, but it just looks like this. And for my lips, I'm going to go ahead and use my NYX uh, Cola Lip Pencil, which is that color right there. That one. I have some other ones here I wanted to try, but I'm going to use that one. And I'm going to go ahead and top that off with my Milani Keep It Full Nourishing Lip Plumper. Um, and this is the shade Soft Rose. It looks like this. I 
actually going to go use a lip brush to feather out. Brown um, eyeliner pencil. I'm just going to go ahead and fill in my beauty mark here and under my nose as well. And that's it, guys. The look is complete. Mm -hmm.